is the Tesla ecosystem really worth it? Hello, welcome back to another video here on the Blue Ape Renewables YouTube channel. We're at another customer installation, but we're gonna be discussing and really understanding whether you should have a Tesla ecosystem. Let's get into the video. Now at the customer's request, we are installing the expansion pack adjacent to the power wall, which is just behind me, making it look really impressive, smart and sleek. When it comes to installing an expansion pack, it is a plug and play system. First of all, we start by installing the bracket. For this case, this would be on the wall. But if you were stacking, you would first of all put the expansion pack on the wall and then stack the power wall on top of the expansion pack. Of course, we are installing the expansion pack today, but let's talk about what is the difference between the expansion pack and the power wall. The power wall has 13.5 kilowatt hours of storage, 11.04 kilowatts of continuous output. It's also rated to IP67 and can be submerged up to two feet if there is a flood, therefore keeping your power wall operating even in the harshest conditions. Now the bracket's up and we have installed the expansion pack, we're now going to run a power and data cable, special cable from Tesla. Next, we install the bridge port connector. That locks in the connection and protects the cable between the devices. This customer has had the gateway installed with the power walls. Now, when we installed the system, the gateways were necessary for the power walls to work. However, this has now changed. You can, in fact, now install a power wall three and an expansion pack without the gateway. However, the gateway offers that flexibility for any grid outages. And that is what the customer here wanted. They often have many grid outages due to being such a rural area. And therefore they wanted to make sure they were fully backed up and ready to power their home if that ever happens. Now it's time to power up everything and commission within the Tesla app. The Tesla expansion pack will balance itself with the Power Wall 3. This is part of the process. We'll run up a backup test to make sure the system's still working with the gateway that the customer has installed as well. While we finish off installing, let's talk about the wall connector. This customer decided to have a wall connector installed by Blue 8 Renewables as they do have a Tesla Model 3 car, making it seamlessly integrate into the Tesla ecosystem on their app. They have everything all in one place. The car, the wall charger, the power wall. If you would like to see how we install a Tesla wall connector, then click on the link above and see how Phil installed this recently at a customer's house. With everything all now powered up, let's run through what the customer can now see in their Tesla app. So simply by opening the Tesla app, you can see immediately the amount of solar you're generating, the amount of solar you're installing either in your batteries or exporting out your batteries, and the amount you're exporting back to the grid if you are at that current time. If you go to the energy tab, you can see daily, weekly, and monthly views of your solar generation, home usage, and grid usage on one clean graph. If you keep scrolling down, you can see where the energy has been used, whether that's from your solar or from the grid itself. In the impact tab, you're gonna see how self-powered your home is and how much you are saving over the course of the system's lifetime at that current moment in time. It'll even log up backup events. So if you do have a grid outage, like this customer often does around here, you'll be able to see when the backup has kicked in and kept your house or your property running. If you go to the power wall, you can click up the backup reserve and you can click how much you want to save in reserve percentage within your power walls in case your backup does need to kick in. Additionally, here you can set time-based controls. If you do have a smart tariff like this customer does, they currently have the Octopus Intelligent Go to go along with their EV car. So they can set to make sure to charge up their batteries overnight on the cheap rate for them five hours. If you want to switch at Octopus Energy, click the first link in the description and save 50 pounds off on your first bill today. Finally, you can decide if you want to turn on Stormwatch. Stormwatch is really smart. It will charge your power walls and expansion packs to 100% if it is forecasted for severe weather within your area, making sure you're prepared if there is any grid outages for any period of time. Finally, utility rate. Here is where you can input how much you are paying for your utilities, so then you can see how much you are saving with your solar generation and your power walls 
in the impact tab. So here we are, the expansion pack has now been complete. Everything is up and powering the system. The system has been balanced. The sun is currently generating electricity into these customers' power wall, and they are already sending stuff back to the grid, which is, of course, fantastic. Making this customer save not only money, but also make them money. If you would like to have an expansion pack or a Tesla Powerwall 3, a wall connector or something within the Tesla ecosystem installed at your property, don't hesitate to get in contact with Blue 8 Renewables today. We hope you have found this video interesting, going through everything about the app, talking about the difference between the Powerwall and the expansion pack, having it with the wall connector and along with the Tesla Model 3 car. Of course, if you have liked the video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Drop a comment, let us know if you've got a similar system installed or if you would like one. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.